Good morning, KO1. Happy Monday. It is a marvelous, marvelous Monday, and we are in the month of May. And we are on May 4th, actually, but I'm not going to show you what the pattern piece is for the day because we have to figure it out. But first and foremost, it is Monday, and it is May. Remember, we talked about how it has a flower there now because in May, you're going to see lots of flowers blooming. So, Monday, May, and then we have the fourth, but remember, it's covered up. We can't see it. The fourth. And we are still in the year 2020. Okay, so marvelous Monday, marvelous May. And let's try and figure out this pattern piece, okay? Ready? So let's take a look behind me at the calendar. And remember, it is a brand new calendar for the month of May, right? So I figured out that the calendar pattern seems to be a story problem and then a, a number problem, right? So the story problems have lots of words in it. And I think we did a few of these back when we were in school. We tried to figure out some of them. And then the number problem or the number sentence is just a number sentence like this. It says three plus two equals, right? That's a number sentence. So based on what I see behind me, on Friday it was a story problem and the story problem's answer ended up being one because it was the first day of May. And then it looks like Saturday was a number sentence, it was a number sentence and it ended up being that the answer to that number sentence was two. And then yesterday, Sunday, was a, another story problem. And the answer in that story problem ended up being three, because it was the third day of May. Now today, hmm, I'm thinking that today is going to be a number sentence day because yesterday was a story problem it was words so i think it's going to be numbers today just numbers well i think jason guessed the same thing he thought that it was going to be three plus one equals four because today's the fourth day of may but actually i took a peek and it's not three plus one equals four it's a different problem okay so here we go i'm gonna reveal here we go ready there we are. Wow, look at that. It says six minus two equals four. So the answer is four because it's May 4th, but I'm gonna show you now, ready? If you put six up on your hand and you take two away, one, two, you're, you end up with the answer four, okay? So six minus two equals four. So let's say the date all together now, ready? Today is Monday, May, actually, let me put it up all together. Monday, May 4th, and we are in the year 2020. So Monday, May 4th, 2020. Awesome, okay. So it is marvelous, marvelous, marvelous Monday, marvelous May too. And in May, it's going to be nice weather. Today's weather report actually is supposed to be a little bit breezy and in the 60s. So hopefully another nice day for you guys to go outside. And I know a lot of you don't have backyards. I don't have a backyard either. I only have like a little side yard. And it's really hard to like run around and play um, with the kids. So we usually try and um, take like a neighborhood walk. Usually our, our neighborhood is very, very, very... Um, not busy with kids, but lots of people go outside and walk around and ride their bikes and stuff like that. So if you don't have a backyard, that's okay, right? Because not everyone has a backyard. That's totally fine. So if you want, or if you can, if your mommy says okay, then, you know, take a little walk. It's so good to get fresh air, especially in this time. Make sure you wear your masks. Make sure you cover that face. Make sure you protect your face. But you know what? Just to get outside sometimes, even for a little while, will be okay um, if your parents say it's okay, of course. Okay, so, oh, another thing that I forgot to, to 
to let you guys know we are actually i forgot to do this hold on one minute we were in school on friday 138 days so who can tell me what comes after 138 i'll be right back think about it think about it friend Does anyone know what comes after the, the number 138? It's a really big one, it's a really big number. I'm gonna show you. We are in school for 139 days of school. Look at this big number. My goodness. We've been in school for 139 days, my friends. That is such a lot of days and like i always say to you even though school is not in the building we are still in session right we still have school in session so even though you guys you know might not see me in the classroom every day you see me on the screen every day right so please 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 remember to do your work 139 days of school is a lot of days of school Okay, so here it goes. Next, I gotta talk to you about our new character trait for the month of May. This is crazy. So we are in a brand new month and that means that we have a new character trait. And I want you guys all to say this word for me. Encouragement. I wanna hear you. Say encouragement. Wow, it's a big word. So I want you to try and think about what encouragement means. I'm gonna write it on this post-it right here. Encouragement. And I wrote it kind of funny, but that's the word, encouragement. So encouragement means that when you, you have to encourage yourself and you have to encourage other people, right? So a way to do that is, when we have we've been sitting at home for a long time right so while we're sitting at home i want you to think i want you to think about all the thoughts that you have in your head and all the things that you know you're really good at right all the strengths that you have so i know i'm really good at writing okay so i'm going to think of that strength that i have i'm really good at writing. And I want to keep those ideas and I want to create new ideas. I want to think about all those other ideas and things that I need help with, right? So we encourage ourselves by thinking about our strengths and the things that we need help with. And we try and encourage us to do better, right? So it's like giving us a little pep talk. So you're saying, hmm, I'm not so great at math, but I am going to tell myself that I'm going to try harder later on. Or maybe somebody else could say to you, oh, Jen, you know, I saw that you were having trouble with math yesterday, but I'm gonna encourage you, you're gonna do great today. It's, you're gonna strive to do the best. So it's either you telling yourself to do better or somebody else telling you to do better, okay? Encouragement is like nice kind words to help you do better, or maybe it's like a hug or a pat on the back, like you got this, come on. You know, I'm gonna encourage you to rock this and do the best that you can. So there's a couple different ways that you can be encouraged, okay? You can encourage somebody else too. So if you say to somebody, oh wow, I noticed that you, you know, didn't do so, you know, you were having a little hard time yesterday, but today let's do this, you got this. You could, you could rock this math or you could rock writing or you could do really good practicing listening ears, anything. And it could be anything. So encouragement means to give people words of like uplifting words or uplifting thoughts or uplifting, you know, hugs or feelings and things like that. And you could do the same to other people. So it's not just you getting encouragement. You can also give encouragement to other people. Okay. So today I have a book for you. I read aloud. That is about two of my favorite characters. And it is my favorite author and in this book my friend piggy is trying to encourage gerald 
trying to encourage Gerald to participate with him in this fun day, right? But Gerald's not having it. Gerald really doesn't want to participate because he feels like he doesn't belong, okay? So let's see how this goes. Let's see who encourages who here, and let's see how this works out. Happy Pig Day. Gerald, Gerald. I am so happy. Today is the best day of the year. Today is free ice cream day? No. Today is Happy Pig Day. Happy Pig Day. Yes, Happy Pig Day. It's the day of the pig. It is the best day to have a pig party. It is the best day to sing pig songs. It is the best day to dance pig dances. It is the best day to eat pig food. It is the best day to play pig games. See, he's trying to encourage Gerald. Come on, you can be a pig. Let's, let's rock this, let's participate together. It is the best day to say oinky oink oink. That means happy pig day in pig. Ooh, I did not know about pig day. Look, oinky oink oink. All my friends are here. Oinky oink oink. Oinky oink oink. Look at all them, look at all these pigs. That is a lot of pigs. Gerald doesn't feel too hot now. He doesn't feel too good now. Oinky, oink, oink. Oinky, oink, oink. Uh-oh, Gerald's leaving. Isn't this great, Gerald? Gerald? Uh-oh. Are you okay? I am sorry, Piggy. I have a trunk and I have big ears. I am gray and I do not have a snout. I do not have hooves and I am not pink. I want to say happy pig day in pig, but I'm not a pig. I am an elephant and I not, do not belong. Oh, Gerald. Happy Pig Day is not just for pigs. Happy Pig Day is for anyone who loves pigs. What do you say to that? I say oinky oink oink. Happy pig day to everyone. Okay, so that was just a feel good kind of book, right? So at first Gerald's not feeling kind of good, right? He doesn't feel like he belongs because he's not a pig. But Piggy's trying to encourage him to do all these pig things. He's saying, come on, you could do it. Even though you're an elephant, you could do this. You got this. You could be a, you could be a pig just like all my friends. And all of his friends weren't really pigs. They were just acting and pretending like they were pigs. So Piggy was trying to do a really good job encouraging George that, or encouraging Gerald that he could, you know, be the best pig that he could be, right? So for crew today, what I want you guys to do is I want you to think of either somebody that encouraged you to do something great, or if you encouraged somebody to do something great, okay? So for example, it could be like I encourage K01 to do a great job doing all of their schoolwork, right? Or listen or having good listening ears or being good and kind friends, right? So I encourage K01. I encourage my own kids to do the best in everything that they can, not just schoolwork. And people encourage me too, right? So 
we have, I have friends that encourage me and my mom used to encourage me when I was younger. She used to say, remember, do your work because you want to be a teacher. Try really hard. Don't give up. Because I had a lot of hard classes in college. College wasn't easy for Miss Ewan. College was not so, not so easy. So I have to try really hard. And sometimes I felt like I was going to give up. But my mom encouraged me and she said, no, you have to do this because you want to be a teacher. So, so you encouraged me. She, she gave me that little uplifting push, right? And I give my kids and you guys that uplifting push to try your best and to um, work hard at things, right? So this is today's crew plan. Send me a video clip of you telling me, say, good morning, Miss Ewan. Somebody that encouraged me is and you can tell me who it was and what they encouraged you to do. That's one. Or you could say, you could send me a video clip and say, good morning, Miss Ewan. I encouraged this person to do this. So if you encourage your sibling maybe to walk or your sibling maybe to ride a bike, or if you encourage your sibling to try harder with studying, whatever it is, okay? So it could either be, you encouraging somebody or somebody encouraging you because we have a big month of encouragement we're going to encourage each other okay so that's your crew assignment for today send me a video clip and i hope you have a great marvelous monday see you soon friends